In the previous lecture, we had discussion on apparent power and power factor and in this lecture, we are going to solve one question in which the calculation of apparent power and power factor is required. So let us read the question first. In the circuit shown in the given figure, if the power consumed by the 5 ohm resistor is equal to 10 watts, then the power factor of the circuit is. So we are required to find out the power factor of this circuit and we have four options given in the question. So let us try to understand how we can have the power factor of this circuit with this information and the data given in the network. We know power factor is equal to the ratio of average power to the apparent power and the average power in this circuit will be equal to the power consumed by the 5 ohm resistor plus the power consumed by the inductor plus the power consumed by the 10 ohm resistor and uh, we know that the power consumed by the inductor will be equal to 0 so we will have 0 here and it is given in the question that the 5 ohm resistor is consuming 10 watts of power so here we will have 10 and if we can have the power consumed by the 10 ohm resistor then we can have the average power and we know the apparent power is equal to the RMS value of the voltage multiplied to the RMS value of the current and when you look at the given circuit you will find the maximum value of the voltage is equal to 50 volts and we very well know that VRMS is equal to the maximum voltage divided by root 2 Vm is equal to 50 volts so we have 50 divided by root 2 volts as the value of VRMS now if we can have IRMS we will have the apparent power and also we will have the power consumed by 10 ohm resistor and uh, let us say that the current in this circuit is equal to IT and corresponding to IT we will have the RMS current and IRMS we can have from the fact that this resistor here is consuming the power equal to 10 watts P5 is equal to 10 watts and P5 will be equal to the RMS value of this current is squared and then multiplied to the resistance that is I RMS square multiplied to 5 and it will be equal to 10 so from here we can say that the RMS current will be equal to root 2 amperes. So in this way we have obtained the RMS current. We now know this value. Let's move on to the calculation of power consumed by this resistor. It will be equal to RMS current squared multiplied to 10. So we have root 2 squared multiplied to 10 and this will give us 20 watts so now we have everything to calculate our power factor the power factor will be equal to 10 plus 0 plus 20 which will be 30 divided by 50 by root 2 50 by root 2 multiplied to root 2 root 2 root 2 will cancel out so we have 30 divided by 50 which will be equal to 0 0.6 so option b is the correct option and this is all for this question now let us move on to the homework problem i have for you in this homework problem you are required to determine the power factor the power factor of this circuit and this phasor of the voltage is corresponding to the RMS value and this means this 30 is the RMS value of the voltage. So try to solve this question and once you have your answer post it in comment section.